Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro Duel video. Um, yeah, next episode, Challenger appears. A very, very recent deck for the 24,000 subscribers. Wow, that's uh, amazing. Thank you all for the support. Um, so the next episode, Challenger appears. Cross Balance Cup 2016. Um, the deck is called uh, Holy Lightning Shadows. Uh, for the TCG, it's called Star Seraph Shadows. So the full Star Seraph engine, which you know... Uh, back a few formats ago got hit in the OCG because it was too strong over there due to Shockmaster and other powerful exceeds. But um, yeah, this uh, Shadow deck list is crazy. The Soul Charge uh, paired up with the Star Seraph engine, double Dark Arm to Dragon and Main Egg Mathematician to boost up the Shadow engine and of course uh, Triple L Shadow Fusion, Triple or Regular Shadow Fusion. The one super polymerization, uh, back then I believe super poly was at 3 in the OCG, but this decklist only ran 1. And uh, yeah, one change that I probably should have made uh, yeah, in this decklist was adding a uh, Shadal Core to the main deck. I've missed it quite a few times when uh, we played out these duels, so probably should have added, but uh, yeah, the decklist I used didn't run uh, the Shadal Core. But uh, anyway, triple uh, construct still in the main deck, the Trishula, Moonrose, Shockmaster. Powerful, powerful exceeds synchros and fusion. So again, the deck is challenging a few decks here in the, the, the yeah, 2016 edition of the Cross Cup. Yeah, Cross Balanced Cup. So let's not waste any more time. Let's hop in into the first game. <laughs> Alright, uh, first opponent, so Clownblade, the uh, OCG Clownblade with Field Spell, this should be the winners, uh, or at least the top the decklist from uh, one of the more recent uh, um, championship, uh, national championship uh, back in uh, OCG, was it, was it Malaysia, I, I, I'm not really sure, um, anyway, he gets an amazing start, he has a Field Spell and he's able to go for the first turn, Shockmaster, calling spells, definitely a good move, although the other option he could have done was uh, go for Diamond, Constellar Diamond with uh, his... Um, Ptolemaios, right, but uh, yeah, it doesn't really matter in the end due to super polymerization. Such a powerful, powerful threat immediately going for Construct. He decides not to use Trickland due to Twential Tribute. Okay, fine, since uh, yeah, Construct is destroyed, but I don't have anything to revive it with. Um, no Shadal Fusion, no El Shadal Fusion. And uh, yeah, that bottomless chapel does save me here, uh, preventing him from making that end phase, or at least yeah, from making that Ptolemaios into a diamond next turn. That could have been a problem, but uh, yeah, thanks to Skomata, I can set up my grave. Uh, also, thanks to Falco, a special summon it in the end phase, and uh, eventually I can uh, use Dark Armed, go for Shadow Fusion. Special summon the second construct, very cool construct, still at 3, and uh, kinda lucky here, drawing into Monster Reborn, so I can uh, yeah, go for game 100% uh, of the time, just in case if my opponent does have a juggler in the uh, in, in his hand, go for Trishula, banish the Thousand Blades, banish his card in the hand, which I believe was a Thunder King indeed, and the deck for game. Alright, uh, next opponent, uh, Chaos Yata Lock, uh, one of the more bigger decks in the cross list Cup, as you know, because it's pretty much list deck, right? He gets a start, again he gets a start. Um, okay, I go for Winda, Winda is uh, decent against the deck, pretty much Brutal Monster Reborn, it does have quite a few special summons, and at the same time, uh, something like Rakeki or Darkhole uh, isn't that useful against Winda, and uh, set the buttons as well, um, but... He has an amazing start. Graceful Charity to discard the Sinister Serpent. Uh, Grace, yeah, eventually painful choice to get back the Jinzo, Noble Summon, Yatakarasu. And on top of that, he gets the effect off. And um, at this point, <laughs> the Link Duo as well. So I, I kind of thought, okay, I'm probably going to lose this one. 
Uh, so this is going to be a short version of uh, the challenger appears right uh, since again he has a window um, and I think my only option here was to get a huge uh, soul charge off uh, fueling the El Shadal fusion in my hand and special summoning two uh, a few beat sticks on the side of the field two beat sticks in the form of uh, Shadal Beast and go for Construct Construct sending the dragon to pop the premature burial this way his Jinzo is destroyed and my bottleness becomes alive just in case if the opponent has BLS um, Chaos Emperor uh, or any other huge beast beat stick uh, right and uh, yeah the bottom of strapple comes through no priority and I rip the BLS at least yeah special summon BLS and to rip the monster reborn right I think he has mirror force set and uh, I think it's yeah, quite obvious um, that I had to go for Chinzo to block his back row so GG That was close. Uh, I think I pulled that one right out of my ass. Um, anyway, um, yeah, game number three. Again, he gets a start. And uh, why do they always open with gateway? Um, yeah. Anyway, so double gateway is is going to uh, take a few uh, a few minutes here. <laughs> Some self touching. Anyway, um, so Gateway is able to yeah, go for Xian, go for Grandmaster and eventually get uh, three Kazans on board and a full hand. Hopefully, yeah, my hand, I do have Star Swap that get yeah, a stick chair combo in my hand, so that's good, especially if I'm down uh, this much. But um, yeah, I know the 6 Samurai deck is running a uh, triple warning, so if he has multiple back rows, Paired up with Xian, and if, the, if those back rows are solo morning, it's I probably over, yeah, probably would have lost. Uh, he only has one set, so I'm obviously going to Typhoon that. If he negates it, it's obvious that it's a solo morning. If it's not a warning, um, he probably is not going to negate it with, uh, yeah, with uh, Xian. And uh, eventually, it's, uh, the, the stick chair combination, and uh, from this point on, well, I was sure that I probably wasn't able to OT game, so that's why I popped both his uh, gateways. But uh, yeah, because my plan was to go for a soul charge eventually, but then I draw dark armed. I was like, okay, I probably can attack for a game. So super poly, go for Shigenaga, Shigenaga, at least he had a construct triggers, getting back the El Shadol fusion that was negated earlier. So I can activate it again, special summon construct, and then fill in my grave with all of those darks, use dark armed, pop all of his monsters. Clean the way and deal, I believe, exactly 8,000 points. No, a little bit more uh, to attack for a game. Wow, this was definitely a game that I probably should not have uh, uh, won uh, at least this soon. But um, yeah, GG. Uh, next big deck, Infernities. Uh, this should, in theory, be a good matchup due to Winda, especially he's playing, yeah, because he's playing the Synchro version, and you know, Winda is, is uh, pretty much MVP against uh, that kind of version. Not too good against uh, the Exceed version, but uh, anyway, again, I lose a Rock, Paper, Scissors game, so the opponent gets a start, and uh, of course, it's always, they open well with Infernities, the launch, eventually he gets off the first Trishula, he makes some good moves, eventually he goes for the second Trishula and is able uh, to end with Stardust as well, so that's a big, big threat. Uh, I was hoping, yeah, that uh, with Trishula I was going to miss uh, my El Shadal Fusion, or at least my, yeah, my uh, regular Shadal Fusion, uh, to maybe have a chance here. But uh, yeah, he makes a good move, uh, Stardust is very good against Construct. So activate Shadal Fusion and he reveals a Judgment, okay. Okay, must be nice. Uh, uh, Black Rose is also another option uh, due to um, his Stardust. So I go for Moon Rose to bounce back his Stardust since that's a big threat and attack over his Necromancer. Uh, big, yeah, it's not, I'm not really sure that this was a correct play, but... Um, yeah, we knew because we knew he had another Necromancer uh, in his hand, so we can just non some Necromancer, reborn something, and go for another Trishula. But uh, I think I had to go for Falco here to block his attacks, make sure that I survive until next turn, maybe rip something. I think my only out here is uh, again Shuttle Fusion, right? And uh, there's a third Trishula, must be nice. And <laughs> I. 
I'm speechless. <laughs> ripping the, ripping the, just the, yeah, the regular shuttle fusion, and uh, I think I draw a card, draw with beast, uh, draw the dark arm, again a second dark arm, and also very very crucial here. Hopefully it's not top taking another arch fiend or whatever. Um, yeah, maybe the, that, that that level one, the, the lone fire for the infernities. I forgot its name, but uh, yeah, eventually that uh, was it. Dragon or Skomata, or is that a third dark needed for dark armed? And again, I steal this one. GG. Uh, next victim <laughs> Monarchs finally get the start, but uh, yeah, I knew from the start this wasn't going to be an easy match um, Monarchs do the dominion the field spell domain um, Again MVP against this deck. I, I do open me foolish foolish is an instant out for a domain Sending that uh, should dragon from my deck to the grave to pop his field spell and make my uh, fusion in life But um, yeah, you see he does have uh, the Stalos in his hand and Wind Twister as well to make use of his return return gets a search searching Aether and you know Stormford Aether again MVP against a lot of decks um, and he also makes a good move, of course. He could have uh, discarded the BLS, but you know, um, Stormford Aether does take care of uh, possible BLS, and uh, the Stalos banishes, at least, yeah, discarded the Foolish Burdle from my hand. Dark Armed could have been, uh, um, yeah, could have been my out here, but uh, yeah, in any circumstances, um, I had to attack into his Stalos three Darks, so I had to drop Dark Arm to force out the, the Aether. If I would have done it other way around, like especially on BLS first, lure out the, the storm forts, then I would have not, uh, yeah, I, I think I only would have had uh, two or at least one or two darks in my grave. So not enough darks to drop a dark armed dragon. And I would have lost either way. So BLS banishing one of his tributes and he still has one tribute on the side of the field. So I still can't special summon from the extra deck. And now he can just uh, yeah, do some monarch shenanigans. And uh, eventually he's going to banish something, I believe the phase down or, or BLS, uh, at least I send it back to the deck. And uh, he can follow it up with Stormfort into Majesty's Fiend to attack for a game. So the streak, sadly, <laughs> the streak comes to an end. Uh, very nice game, GG. Alright, um, that's it. Um, yeah, guys, um, thanks for watching. Uh, so, again, feel free to leave a like. Uh, these videos do take up a lot of time uh, to make, but um, again, all support is uh, definitely appreciated. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, and feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave me signing out. Peace.